Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Tight. Welcome back to more Persona 4 Golden. Adachi is the killer. I, you know, last time I was like, you know, that nah, was sus of a couple people. I can't, I can't take credit for guessing Adachi. Fuck that shit. I called that shit, man. Let's be honest, man. Uh, who's my other suspect? Dojima? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. No, uh, Adachi, man. I think Stray, you like linked to me um, a timestamp from my part six that you saved to link me till I got to this point. And it was a joke I made at the time. But I was like, it's, it's, I was like, it's one of the cops. It's Johnny Young Bosch. Fucking pro tag and the villain. Goddamn. So we're gonna go find his punk ass and beat the game. How about it? Call that shit. All right, <laughs> you fully recover. I gotta, I gotta gloat now. Just being all humble last time. Now fuck that. <laughs> fully recovered from yesterday's events. You should go over to the TV board with everyone after school. We're doing it. Oh yeah, I got a... I forget which of you let me know. But a, a tip to not go to the dungeon right away. I'll be honest with you. I'll give it a try, but... I'll be honest with you. With this being my first playthrough, I totally would have just gone first as soon as I could. Like, without hearing that. So it doesn't feel right to take that advice. Just because I, I value, like, the first let's play of the game like that level like if i gotta do it wrong so be it but uh you know we'll see what i can do if risei chan couldn't find him i really doubt someone with a dried up nose like me will be much help we got teddy through his existential crisis that's been building up this whole game the last time the revelation that he is a shadow but not just a shadow he's goddamn teddy and he's our mascot damn it so let's see what he can do Hmm. I do smell a dachi baby in here. A dachi baby. But the fog is completely covering up his scent. Teddy, you can't do it either. When you look at me with those eyes, I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no matter what. This is my time to shine. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, power up. Oh, I'm getting something. Power up, Teddy. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god, he's actually doing it. <laughs> he's going even further Teddy? beyond. Hey, quit wandering around. <laughs> you better not flick out on us again. Powered up the nose. Huh? I sense it from this away. Is it Itachi? Um, how do I put it? It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a Whopper on the line. A Whopper. Shout out to, what is that, Burger King? I don't get it. Very suspicious. This definitely smells. But that's weird. Mm. If I remember right, that's where Sensei, Yosuke, and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. Oh. When we first... where was that? Oh. You mean that creepy-ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? Okay, I, yeah, I remember that now. Yeah. Yep, there's someone there! Oh, goodness. Wait, is... because Dark Namatame is still up in here. Teddy, you really are amazing. You might have to deal with him first. It was just dumb luck. It's because that's where I first sensed Sensei and the others. That's why it kind of smelled over there. <laughs> that blush. Have we seen that sprite before? That's beautiful. Oh, I see. Wait, did you say it smelled? Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the bathroom and... Oh my god, is that why? Huh? You're saying he peed his pants there? <laughs> oh, I don't want to hear 
hear it. Dude. <laughs> oh, you lie so bad. Dude, I did not piss my pants. She had quit spreading random rumors about stuff like that. Uh, well, it happened so long ago, my memory's kind of fuzzy, you know? I was like, did that happen? That would be that would've been a crazy roundabout okay, plot point. Okay, guys, enough fuzziness. Follow me, the master of fuzzy logic. Like Yosuke pissing his pants means we can continue the plot at this point. That would have been crazy. He <laughs> he. <laughs> <laughs> Went Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. I know it doesn't happen enough anymore. Though I really wonder sometimes about your sense of humor. She's a dork. It's cool. Cheerful mood has returned to the group thanks to Teddy. And you've taken another step toward the truth. Ooh, rank up. Let's go. Three more. Seekers of Truth, level seven. I noticed her first, Ooh. and she just had to run off and have an affair. What? Adachi? Who's there? I am so curious. Because, yeah, of course, I was wondering, like, like why? So, okay, it's Adachi. Why is he? Like, why? You know? I guess he was okay. Oh, it's you guys. You're very persistent. You're the real killer. I don't you know are Kira. Talking about. It's you, Light Yagami. You're not lying your way out of this one, damn it! Just being here proves it! Answer us! You're the one who threw Ms. Yamano into the TV, aren't you? <laughs> it was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? Ugh. I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something. And then she started getting hysterical on me. Probably because you grabbed her, you bitch. Uh, who are you? And what's this something important you called me out here for? What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot. Oh, God. It's all a lie, right? Oh, God. Why do I have to explain myself to you? Oh, God. I see. So you don't deny it. Ah, oh, he's such a weirdo. You cut my eye. But it turns out you're another worthless bitch. Oh, he's an incel. Oh, God. What's wrong with you? Don't make me call for help. <sighs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. The villain's an incel. I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. Oh, God. What are you going to do? What? No. Ah! Oh my god. She fell in. And that's when he realized. <laughs> wow. So people can go completely inside. Okay, he didn't know you could completely go inside, I guess. Good thing for me no one else was around there in the middle of the night. That happened in our lobby I learned about the midnight channel through some rumor you hear a lot <laughs> of fishy stories like that on the force through a rumor cuz yeah that's the crazy shit man especially with everything in the game that's happened like man I saw some crazy shit on the midnight channel man like and like you have to like who's airing that right like if we get to the bottom of this shit why are the <laughs> why are disappearing people appearing on there man but it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. Hmm. It's when he realized he could use it to his advantage. I burst out laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. So he, yeah, he's not like a causing force between or behind like the TV world or anything like that. He's just a guy who stumbled upon it just like Nametame and us so you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano 
Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. Ugh. I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. But you know, both Mayumi and that dippy high school girl struggled Ugh. for no reason. Can I fight you now? Then you were responsible for Saki Senpai's death. Saki? Oh yeah. Her name was Saki Kunishi, or something like that. Dude, this slimy little weasel was just here like this the whole time. With his dopey little clueless expression being like, what? Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have told you that. Like, fuck you. At first, I just called her in because of work-related stuff. Her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. Okay. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd see yeah, something, yeah. I'd need to know, right? So convenient. The criminal to be a cop. So I was all set to be a nice guy to her. And then that bitch. What's this about, anyways? Didn't you call me in for more questions? Well, we'll get to that. But you know, I saw you this afternoon. I don't have cameras in here? You were getting pretty cozy with that Namatame. What the fuck? Huh. So I'm not good enough for you. This guy is just an actual incel, man. Well, I know how to deal with girls like you. No! Damn these conveniently placed TVs. God, these high school girls today. This world's gone straight to shit. When I was in school, I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off. I was supposed to be the best of the best, and instead they stick me in the box. Okay, all right, buddy. But I guess I got the sweet power to make up for it. Ah, oh, what a rotten guy. It's one thing to feel like you earned more, like... You know, maybe you shouldn't feel entitled, like, whatever. Maybe you deserve to. I don't know. But God, he's just rotten. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out. Yikes. Why is there no cameras in here? <laughs> yeah, like that'll happen. <laughs> As if I'd walk into a death trap like that. God, he is. It was a lot easier the second time. High school girls are thinner, you know? Lighter. Ah, uh, look, this. Adachi is like. He's almost what you might assume Namatame was like. They're like opposites. This guy is just rotten. Fucking yikes, man. You son of a bitch! Come on, give me a break. I didn't know it was dangerous inside the TV. It's not like I was trying to kill them. <laughs> I guess he can lie to them about that. He literally just said when he pushed Saki and like, yeah, like I'd go in that death trap. I mean, I'm sure they hit on Namatame, not the other way around. God. The council secretary will one day rise to public office himself. Mayumi and that high schooler were just gold digging. They got exactly what they deserved. I didn't do anything wrong at all. Shut the hell up! You knew from what happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here! <sighs> exactly. So what if I knew? Why is he so confident? We have him cornered. I don't like this. Because I know I got a whole dungeon to go through. I don't like this. Uh, did you trick Namatame? Nah, he called the police in the middle of the night, just after they found that Saki girl's body. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide, and it happened that I was the one who took the call. Namatame said the police refused to take him seriously. You were responsible for that then. Oh, quite the contrary. If anyone else had taken the call, sure, 
but I actually did believe him, you know? Oh, God. So just, yeah, really unlucky. Huh, that's the pattern to the two deaths so far? He just had to be the one to answer. It's like, man, Adachi's really a mastermind. This is pretty lucky. And now you're seeing a girl in a kimono on that weird program, and you think she'll die too, is that right? Tommy san do you seriously expect us to believe something like that? But, but it's true! If there's any way the police can protect her... Listen, there's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that. <laughs> wow, this little shit. It does sound interesting, though. B but Oh, I have an idea. Interesting. If you really want to save her that much... Why not do it yourself? Oh my god. Like, you could shelter her somewhere. Some place where no one could find her. Oh my god. That's a- Oh, he encouraged it! Holy fuck. Where no one could find her? Save her yourself. You can do it. Alright, okay, yeah, never mind. He is a mastermind. <laughs> I'm busy, so I'm hanging up now. Bye. Goodbye. Damn, so he didn't just go all vigilante hero mode purely on his own. Isn't that amazing? Adachi encouraged it. And Namatame was so, like, so into, like, his feeling and what he had to do that he just did not question how fucking weird that was. Jesus. Of all the people who could have received Namatame's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck. Super lucky. You lucky bitch. All I did was give him a little push. A little push. And he completely bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he'd kidnap. Both sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. Awesome. That is fucked up. We really just went back and forth when we were literally both trying to save people. God damn it. You gotta be shitting me! But that's the weird thing. Namatame would see them on the Midnight Channel. Would do what he did. And we'd see, like, the warning signs as well. No, because we, we would both see them. Like, he would act. But them appearing in the first place is still like, why? Because Adachi is not the one who's who did that. He's not behind the TV world or even the fog, probably. It's like, he's just another guy who took advantage. Or, like, he, he is the guy who took advantage. We thought Namatame was that guy. But he was the one who reacted and took initiative. Adachi's the guy who's taken advantage because he's a fucking incel, I guess. But, so weird. We still don't have all the answers. Why? What reasons could you have for doing that? <laughs> reasons? None, really. I could do it, that's all. And it was fun. I guess that's my reason? I could do it. You murdered people just for the fun of it? Come on. All I did was put people in here. I didn't murder them. And Namatame did most of it. I had nothing to do with any of you. You're just dodging the blame! Yeah? Then how would you prove it? He put people inside TVs? <laughs> you think the police are that stupid? What a jerkwad! I do admit, though, I never thought you guys would manage to track me down. I like that. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. Meta. It's like when I dealt with that Kubo kid. That was fun, too. Holy shit. Then, you mean to say that Mitsuo Kubo's disappearance was your doing as well? I did sense something odd in his course of action. If he had special powers and wanted attention, why resort to a regular copycat Did he crime? encourage that, too? But that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. Am I correct? It had been a while since I last put someone inside the TV. So, so he put really Mitsuo in? He's the one who put him in. Holy fuck. Why did you 
do that? And how come Mitsuo didn't say anything about you? <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a detective. I led him through to a room at the station with a TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. As long as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no one would believe him, even if he survived. What the fuck? Of course, I don't think the Kuba kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> How'd you lead him to a room like that without him seeing? You know what? Whatever. Wait, the police station? Yeah. He turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back when we didn't even know enough to issue a search warrant. But the other officers decided it was just a prank. Oh, so they wow. Me. I didn't blame them. I mean, a kid coming and saying, I did it all. It was me. Who'd believe him? But it looked bad. I didn't think anyone would come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. The police were desperate dependent on anyone. If this kid really did it, they might have announced the case was closed. And if that happened, Namatama would stop saving people. Or the game would be over. The game would be over. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's why I told the others I sent him home. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. Okay. The game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? You gotta have some excitement in life, don't you agree? But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. Thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. Jesus, man. A detective? Serial killer incel. Just having his fun, psychopathic game the whole time. Johnny Young Bosch. Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? It worked out in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. Shut the this fuck up. Game to you. How dare you murder people? Murder Saki Senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! I hate looking at his stupid little Mickey Mouse face now. God, they're doing a really good job of making you hate this guy <laughs> toward the end here. You can keep your forgiveness. Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough anyways. Yeah, that was that's a, uh, another thing I'm really concerned about. Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The two worlds will merge soon, and then there'll be no difference, no sides anymore. What the hell's he talking about? And then what will you do? Dumbass. This isn't his real body. Wait, what? The real Adachi is somewhere else. Wait, what? But this guy feels different from an ordinary shadow. It doesn't seem like he's going berserk. It's a shadow clone. No, really, what the fuck? What the hell? I was wondering why he was so confident in here. Like we're, like, we're not cornering him and how I'd have a whole dungeon and final boss to get to. Son of a bitch. <laughs> wow, you can tell that much? This me is just around to greet you guys, and thank you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. I'd say this world has taken a real shine to me. I feel like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. Is he just like a natural in here? Because here I was like, okay, he was an ordinary guy. I guess as ordinary as a serial killer incel psychopath can be. But maybe all those factors in here, like, allow him to manifest powers? I don't fuck. I don't know, dude. I don't know. And the monsters don't attack me at all. Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, the negativity that's just natural to him. It just resonates with this place. And he's like a natural. The Shadow's goal? By the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. By the end of the year? So what happened during the time skip? 
in the neutral and bad ending. Did Adachi get bored? He just let the game go? That shit was like March. I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come and get me. Hmm. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Keep your bullshit to yourself. It's about time you shut the hell up. We'll finish this right now. Fuck. What a chump. Didn't I just tell you the real me is somewhere else? Yeah, we were tired of looking at you anyway. I'll be expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. I'm Get down. Back here, you. That guy sucks, man. <laughs> Fuck. That stuff about the world's mind and how this place will become our reality. Was he serious? This world will know pain. The rest of his confessions were consistent. We'd best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. Sorry, I got thinking Naruto every when I thought Shadow Clone. Anyway, yeah. It felt like he's gained some strong power after coming here. Not only that, maybe he got taken over by that power. So what he said about the two worlds becoming one, that's really gonna happen? Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? That's what he said, but considering it didn't happen in the, I guess, neutral, I assume neutral and bad ending I got, um, he doesn't, he doesn't really know. I think that's just his prediction, unless like some other factor back then prevented that. It was still super ugly and foggy, but as far as I know, that didn't happen. It wasn't like shadows that are that are like here now if the worlds become one. So I don't know. You know, Adachi's not omniscient. He's certainly a natural in this place, but you know. We'll deal with it either way. At the very least, get the fog the fuck out of here. Maybe? I don't know if the fight, defeating a Dachi would even solve that at this point. Because before I thought it did, but now after hearing all that, I'm like, yeah, he's not even like... He's not even a part of that. He's just taking advantage. So like, what stops the fog? What stops like Nanako's illness? Like, what's that going to take? I don't know. before during the endings I was like is it my social links that'll lead me to the truth that's what they tell you every time you establish a social link that you now has established a new bond it brings thee closer to the truth might have a by the end of this we might have a social link check by the end it might judge me based on that I don't know that's what I thought happened before but that then I just had to go through the dialogue tree with Namatame but that might still happen I think he means this world will engulf the human world. The people in town are acting weird. It's like when the shadows that emerged from people went berserk. If the fog gets even thicker and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows like over here. Yeah, that's the thing. You mean... Everyone's gonna turn into shadows? Damn it! Damn that bastard! Hmm. <laughs> now I'm reminded of a Sasuke scream. God damn it, I need to get my mind out of off of Naruto. Why? We went through so much to get here. And now it turns out he was pulling our strings this whole time? Oh yeah, he fucking sucks. He's the worst. They did a really good job making you hate him at this point. Like, of course, it's bad enough he's the culprit, but it's like, man, he fucking sucks. Let's end this. Yeah. It's about time we finish this. I don't want to feel this way ever again. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Yo. There's a path we can take now. Hmm. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. All right. Bring it on! Feeling froggy, Let's motherfucker? Let's right now! Wait, I suggest we prepare ourselves first. Oh, sensible Nauto. 
We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year, but now's not the time to freak out. Let's get prepared. Let's get over prepared and leave footprints <laughs> all over his stupid smug face. Let's fucking go. By pooling all your strength, the path to the truth has been opened. Two more. Okay, I have a change of heart now. After all that and after this talk, I have a change of heart. Before I was like, okay, I got the tip to not go there right away. I was like, I can't listen to that because I know I would just go there once it's available. I don't feel that way anymore. I feel like I should take as much time as I can to specifically get my social links up as much as I can just because as I was just talking about that might become relevant very soon in fact if it is ever going to be relevant it's going to be after going through this dungeon so like at least by the end of it so if that is the case I want to do that before it becomes impossible for me to like account for that anymore so on that basis i will take my time and over prepare as chia says and of course i'll buy a whole bunch of items which i would would have done anyway before going in but now i'm set on social linking a bit more i don't think i have time to max out like <sighs> Yeah, I don't think I can max out Rise. Maybe, I, I don't think so, but I don't know. That would be ideal. The unexpected true culprit is finally being confirmed. Before the end of the year, this town will be swallowed by the fog. You must finish things before then. You resolve to be fully prepared before facing Adachi. Wait, I have till the end of the month? Oh, goodness. Oh, I do have time. I'm feeling that stronger than ever now. If I really have till the end of the year, because yeah, it's the deadline until everything crosses over. So if I have till the end of the year until that happens, supposedly, it didn't happen in the other endings, but that's the hypothetical deadline. Like, especially that, well, now that we've confronted Adachi, it's different now, obviously. So. I don't know, he might even be able to influence that. Again, like his negativity being there and just like the nature of the shadows and himself, not only does he ha seem to have an affinity for it and like the powers he utilizes and just his proficiency just being there, but also he might be able to uh, influence that crossing over and it might actually happen if I don't do anything about it by the end of the year. So, assuming I have that much time, we're going to social link the fuck out. And the fact that I have that much time really tells me to get get my social links as far as I can. Because I really feel that way. No one tell me otherwise. If not, no spoilers. But I just feel it in my heart. If social links are ever going to be relevant to the truth they claim that they're going to lead me to, then by God, I'm going to bond with my friends until then. Or something. Alright. Like, straight up, if I have that much time, fuck. But I might not. I just assume based on what they said. You overhear students talking. God, I'm speaking terribly. Let me drink some water. Is this fog getting thicker and thicker, or is it just me? Does this mean the world's coming to an end? I actually heard someone say that. What do you think's gonna happen? Earthquake? Tsunami? Uh, nothing's gonna happen. It's just fog, you doofus. Besides, if something terrible happens, the Defense Force or somebody is sure to come save us. The Defense Force? Yeah, I guess you're right. Ah, what if some giant monster attacks Inaba? Or aliens? I saw a movie about something like this. Maybe that happens in another Persona game. Who knows? 
I don't know what Defense Force is, maybe that is too. Hey everyone, they posted the test results. Oh yeah, we did take tests. Oh, the awful moment of truth. Why do we give a shit about this? <laughs> oh well, wanna check it out? We decided to check the test results. I guess in a way it's optimistic if we're looking to succeed and seeing the relevance of this when we succeed, like to continue on with school and our grades, like and all that. All right, all right. Well, nice, good go going, Yoro. You're so smart. Social link friends seem to be congratulating you. Slightly closer to your school friends. Hey, Yoro Kobe is a genius. Classes have ended for today. The real culprit has been finally been identified. Is it possible that the fog will shroud the entire world by the end of the year? Regardless, you meet you must defeat the one behind all of this before then. So yeah, straight up tells you. Makes sense, but it's good we've confirmed that we have that much time. I'm gonna social link the fuck out. Are you kidding me? Come here, Risei. Come here, Nato. We're hanging out. Get the fuck over here. And, man, I wonder what happens when you max out everyone's. Because, you know, I haven't hung out with my sports friends or a music girl. Oh, where are Naoto and Risa? Where the fuck? Risa's over here, but she don't want to hang out. Senpai, are we going to Juness today? Risa looks determined. Mm. Oh, I'm ready anytime, so hurry up, okay? Yeah, they're they're ready. Well, I hope it'll let me do what I'm trying to do here. Unless it's trying to tell me that no, you don't need to worry about that. Which may be, but let me dream, damn it. What's up with everyone lately? All this talk about the fog being poisonous and that stupid midnight channel? There's gotta be a perfectly natural cause for all this, but nobody's figured it out yet. It gives me the creeps like looking at unfinished art. Hmm. Even going outside is really freaky. I mean, I want to climb, climb mountains, but everyone's saying this fog is dangerous. I guess it's better to just stay inside. This is all new dialogue, right? Ugh. It's like I can't clear my head. I can't even think of any new prank ideas, and that's rough. I kind of get the feeling that ignoring it won't make it better, though. Everyone is just still fucked up. Ah, Yoro-senpai. Have you seen your test scores yet? Man, you did that well, even though you seem kind of down for a while. Huh, I should be more like you. Yeah, that Nanako thing was and is still hard, but... It'll all be fine soon. I went to the hospital to see my grandma the other day. She was glad I risked coming to see her through the fog, but I think it might have made her worry more. She got all worked up. It's a poisonous fog. It's too dangerous to be outside. How do you get to school? She's been worrying about me the whole time. Oh, It's good to get an update on that guy's grandma. But, uh, yeah. Worrying stuff. Let's go to the practice building. Naoto's not where she usually is, but Kanji's still here. Two are whispering to each other. There haven't been any clear days lately. This is weird. Definitely weird. Miko, you're worrying too much. It's just fog. Fog is normal. Maybe I'm just used to it, but... but. Hmm. Everyone complains about the fog, but I don't mind how thick it is at all. It's like it makes it easier to think, even though you can't remember what you were thinking about later. For example, if I turn my radio on in the fog, it really feels like I can hear those broadcasts from years ago. It's almost like I can still hear the voice of the girl that I used to play with. <laughs> Ominous. Oh, none of that sounded good. I heard this one radio show say that it's important to treasure your past. I decided to forget about it, but maybe the past is too important to ignore after all. But the teachers have been saying, and then the radio... Hmm... This is not how we should live. Oh, sorry, I gotta check. I gotta make sure my, the recording isn't breaking. Oh goodness, dropped frames, well. Well, the stream crashed, so I'll be uploading this manually later. That's fine, whatever. God damn it. It's all good. Shouldn't be any drop frames on the video, though. Hopefully? 
Notice that more and more people are starting to wear gas masks when I'm out running errands. No one in my family has bought one yet, but maybe we better get them while we can. Hmm. And there's no way I'm getting these items for these kids before the end of the month. Fuck that shit, dude. I'm getting my links up. Are you kidding me? I may still be an apprentice, but at least I'm determined. Just talking to everyone before I grind the rest of the month. Just get, just get all my dialogue in. My teacher said I could get into any college I apply to, but I know the truth. I know of at least a few guys in the class next door who are trying to get into the same place. The teacher isn't even considering the number of applicants. We can't all make it in. What a fool. I wonder how hard everyone's studying for the entrance exams. It bothers me, like, a lot. I mean, teachers gotta encourage you. But, uh, I know how you feel. We talked about stuff, and I think she understands now. She was just worried about how protective I'd be. I'm just relieved she knows how much I care about her. Yeah, but... Hey, what do you want to do this weekend? I'd be fine with just walking around somewhere. Outside? Are you crazy? Everyone says the fox poisonous. Oh, come on. That's all in your head. I mean, we've been fine so far, right? The tension is thick. I don't know about that, chief. Oh, okay, same thing if you click on her. Also, that combo sounded weird. Are you, like... Not my business. Sounded like he was cheating or something, but... Not my business. I, I guess I should, um... Should at least complete trivia... Trivia guys thing. If that's the last one. There might be another one before the end. Senpai won't even look at me anymore. She always too she's always too busy looking at him. I didn't do anything wrong. All I did was fall in love. If only he weren't there, he changed her. Yes, he did. The senpai I know would never have treated me like this. That is the senpai you know, girl. It's all good. I saw your test scores. Everyone's already talking about how great you are. It must be nice. I have nothing else to say to you. The fuck? Is, this guy's AT field is blocking me. Oh, but yeah, homegirl over over there. Uh, it's gonna be hurt for a while, but she'll be all right. I don't think I even like that girl as much now that I'm not around her anymore. Kind of weird, isn't it? No, uh, makes sense. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I wish it was the other way around. Eh, yeah, whatever though, all I can do is keep moving forward. And how? Isn't it kind of weird for Fog to stick around this long? <laughs> yeah, people are even starting to wear gas masks. I'm convinced now, it's dangerous. Oh, what should I do? I want a gas mask. What'd she say? And yeah, my mother says I have to keep going to school. Okay. Now let me talk to the kids in the classroom. We'll do that real quick. Oh wait. Tutu. Yosuke is going to want to go. Yo. Corner that Adachi. Yosuke looks worried. Oh. Yep. You have a plan, right? I do. It's going to take some time, though. Don't you get the feeling that the fog is saying don't go anywhere? Don't look at anything when it's this thick? Hmm. Is that weird? It really creeps me out somehow. You may be right. Yeah, it's like I can't relax. It's probably, uh, yeah. It hasn't been clear in forever. How long have I been breathing in this poison fog? I've been really, really scared lately. There's been something I want to ask somebody. The fear won't go away. Hmm. Catching all those bad feelings. This fog isn't clearing, is it? It's gone on for so long and it doesn't look like it's going to get better soon. All I do is fight with my friends. I think this is going to be a real problem. But it's not like I'm going to die if they stop being my friends or anything. Yeah, it looks like everyone's been influenced negati uh, negatively by the fog. My friend told me he said that this romance won't go well. He says that your first love never turns out the way you want. That's not true, right? Never? I mean, no, it's not true. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> anyway, did you got, get that thing for me? No. Most of the time? Sure. But never? Nah. Some people. I don't know. They make it work, I guess. Wow, you're really impressive. You seemed down lately, so I was worried about you. Because I was worrying for nothing. I used to think that you were so cool because you were from the city, but then I realized that, that it's all just you. So, way to go, you. Damn, here's somebody who's not influenced negatively. Thanks, man. Wow. Alright, well. That's enough chit-chatting. Maybe I do want to do one of these social links then. If these are the only two available... Listen, it's working toward the same goal. I'm gonna talk to my guy over here though, see if I can do this one. Oh, oh, I remember, I picked two. 
Okay, I need to remember the one that's correct, because I picked two and they were wrong, but... Okay. Fuck, wait, I <laughs> don't remember. <laughs> I was like, wait, I, re I remember this one. Wait, <laughs> it's in my persona. notes. Give me one second. Please tell me I wrote down the answer. Because I think last time I did it, yeah, I just, I read it again. And I was like, oh yeah, it's that group. And I was like, yeah, 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 sure, I, I remember this one. Wait, no, I don't. Fuck. But it's in my notes. Wait, that's Kagetsu Toya. That's wrong notes. Hey, where the fuck are my persona notes? Oh my god, they're not here anymore. What the fuck? Where are my persona notes? I I am not playing, bro. What? Bro, what? Oh my goodness. I legit. How do they're gone? Oh goodness. Oh wait, they're right here. Never mind. Holy <laughs> shit! Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with me? Okay. Oh god. Or right, excuse me. <sighs> anyway. Okay. F's in group A. G's in group B. N is in group A. Zero's in group B. So. So I'm pretty sure B C D E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. A. What do they have in common? Which one did I not pick? Oh, because I remember the first time I said consonants, that was wrong. But who was the second one I picked? <sighs> God damn it. It's the way they're drawn. Fuck. All right, tomorrow. I got it tomorrow. I thought I picked that one last time, but I guess not. Must be nice being a city kid. All the rest of us here must look like idiots to you, huh? Congratulations on your class rank. <laughs> wow, thanks. Don't you think the college-bound guys are acting a little strange lately? It just seems like they've been kind of wound up over their college stuff. You got a recommendation from where and what the other class's average test scores were? Are entrance exams really that insane? I mean, yeah, some kids... That's everything. I mean, it is a big deal. For setting a path going forward, it's not everything. You don't have to do that, but... It sure helps. If that is the path that works for you. You know what? I finally convinced my parents. They accepted that going to college was my dream. But when I said I wanted to help pay for it, there was an argument. Children shouldn't worry about that, they said. But I'm still going to try to get that scholarship money. I want to lighten the burden any way I can. This is no time to complain about the fog. All right, I have to work hard. You are great. Goddamn. All right. Hello, weather girl. How do you feel about this fog? <laughs> she says the same thing every time. Wow. Uh, well, no matter how you look at it, there's nothing but this fog for this foreseeable future. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Even that's got to be like, well, this is easy. It hasn't changed and won't change. Not if we have something to do about it. All right, let's finally leave here. We might be able to find our boy. Oh, I meant to bring up earlier because uh, Mark li uh, linked me in the Patreon comments. Um, Holy shit. Oh my god, look at this. It's worse. What is this, soot? No, oh, this is just straight up TV world bleeding over more, man. Oh, this is a progression. Ever since Adachi went in there, this development. What the hell? Anyway, but yeah, Mark, you linked me and told me about um, another ending that was added in Persona 4 Golden, where if your social link was high enough with Adachi, you could say it was him. In the options, like, because, you know, y'all also told me you get, you know, three chances to say it's Adachi, has every single social link. Like, that's cool. And if you have, like, a high social link with Adachi, you can say it's him, but keep it to yourself. And apparently there's a whole ending around it that YouTube was titled Accomplice Ending. It was, like, 13 minutes. So I was like, okay, I think I'm going to react to this at the end of the playthrough. And granted, half the length of the video could very well just be the end credits. Goddamn, those are long. But I think that'd be cool to see a what-if scenario, just because the length of it and kind of just the idea of it just sounds like 
like a really cool fucked up alternate ending so i'll save that i'm keeping that bookmarked so thank you for telling me about that any new books oh you only care about boots no books oh wait well to change the subject the newspaper's picking up on the fog around town it's gone a lot darker than before too yeah i see that guess i'll stay in my house and read books after all it's for the best we got speak to these people here ah uh, eh he seems to be mumbling something but you can't make sense of it oh god they didn't show the cooking show I usually watch on TV today I wonder what I'm gonna do about dinner oh duh. he seems to be mumbling something but you can't make sense of it this is not good I don't want you people to turn into shadows Hey, hey, you, where's your gas mask? The fog is poison, so you have to be careful. Everyone's saying it, so it has to be true. Get a hold of yourself. Well, I know what I'm saying. It's poison, isn't it? Better safe than sorry, I'd say. So fair enough. I mean, you know. Probably not going to turn into shadows, but... They ain't gonna be good. Either way, there's gonna be shadows here, whether it's them or the ones from over there coming over. I mean, they manifest from what human thought? That's what they said last time. Was it thought or emotion? Yeah, that. We'll see. Fog is really dark, isn't it? I get the feeling I haven't seen the sun in a long time. I thought it was horrible before, but now a lot of the other women in the neighborhood have started, started wearing gas masks, but I... Gas masks don't need them. Much of scaredy cats. See what I have to put up with? I wonder who I should be listening to. The fog's still getting thicker. You can't argue with that. It's Juness. I tells you, Juness. We gotta just burn that place to the ground and get it over with. I'll tell you the rumors that are going around. Everyone's getting lost in the TV. It's a big scoop. Oh, goodness. It's all I hear from everyone is poison, poison. I've gotten kind of freaked out, too. I wonder where I can buy a gas mask. I need to get one. Everyone else has one already. Mm. Might hang with our boy, honestly. Hey, don't you recognize me? I look pretty good in this, don't you think? Military chic. Fog. I think I've... I think he said this to me before. Fog's dangerous, so I don't want to go outside. But if I stay at home, all I do is watch TV. It looks like everything they've been saying is true. It's a frightening concept, isn't it? Well, I've got my gas mask, so I'll be fine. At least that's what the TV says. Tanaka. I heard the gas masks are flying off the shelves. Maybe I should buy one too. Don't you think a gas mask biker sounds cool? But maybe it would make me look suspicious? Totally. I guess not since everyone's wearing them now. You would look crazy, but yeah, I guess everyone's wearing them. I'm just gonna buy these every day in anticipation. <laughs> this will also be a very good investment. the biggest thing I need is always SP. Like this is a bunch of small little SP boosts here, but goddamn does that add up. Like I'll, I'll be able to amass a lot by the end of the month. Very good, very good. Alright, what say you kiddos? Alright, this kid just always talks about bugs. Oh, this poor, poor kid over here. I heard that this fog is poisonous. If my Uchan and me both get sick, which one will you say first? Oh my god. What? I can't pick. That again? You always like that, Shota. You know what that's called? Wishy washy. Uh, can we all just go home? The fog is poisonous after all. <laughs> uh. For old time's sake. Then we'll, we'll hang uh, with our buddy. Oh god. Gotta keep the truth to ourselves hanging out with him. About the guy who really killed his sister. Ah, uh, it's some bullshit, man. Because, of course, I want to go in there and just, like, fuck him up. But if it's giving me the chance, I will arm myself with the power of anime friendship. God damn it. Oh, hi. I will obliterate that man when I step in there. By any means. Aoki seems to have some free time. Got Tawu. 
Yes. And especially that I still have all my Bond personas equipped. Like, I don't have my combat lineup, so to speak. So, it's good I utilize them while I have the time. Dachi's gonna be a bitch just waiting in there till the end of the month anyway. Naoki looks a bit happier. Well, he's gonna be waiting for us, but yeah. It's part of his game. That's so that's so crazy. Like, in a meta way, and just in-game. Just him prolonging everything for his own psychotic fun. Like him, like... What he did to Mitsuo, just because it's been a while since he did it to Saki. Like, Jesus Christ, man. And he's a fucking incel. What a bitch. All right, Central Shopping District, Chinese Diner, Aya. I'm um, sorry about last time, how I kept talking about all that nonsense. I wanted to apologize for that. I don't mind. You're so strange. You don't distance yourself from me like everyone else. Or preach to me like you know everything. <laughs> I feel comfortable around you. Hey, that's good. Nunky looks happy. You know, I like cream puffs. I know it's kind of girlish. Whatever. Good good food is good food. There's a good cream puff shop by our house, so every once in a while I'll buy some and take them home. If I put them in the fridge, sis would eat them. Oh. She'd make up some lame excuse like, I ate them for you since they were about to expire. So we'd always get into fights over the cream puffs. Hmm. But now, the cream puffs don't disappear. I bought some and they expired in the fridge. Damn. When I saw that, I thought, oh, um, maybe, maybe Sis isn't here anymore, you know? Damn. So I threw them away. That's some real shit. Like a habit you still had with someone while they were still here and they're gone, you still do it, but... Like the fact that it expired too, like just untouched. Goddamn. Told you before, if you ask me if I hate the killer, the answer is no. The truth is, it's not even a no. I don't know anything. I have a meaningless daily life. Just confused parents in a dark house. Just rotting cream puffs. How do I get out from that? What would be best for me? For sis? I just don't know. Take your time. Or take action. Since these are both vague, I'll say take your time. But the more I wait, the more time goes by, and I'll be older than Sis before I figure anything out. That won't be good. Naoki is grimacing. Yeah, that's, that's real too. Yeah? I know I'm stagnating. I know it's not good. I know that I need to move. I was just worried, because that's true. The stagnation, that's a big thing. I was just worried about take action if he would have done something like crazy or like harmful to himself. That's what I was thinking, but I guess he's stable enough for now that we've been there for him. I know all that. You quietly listen to Naoki's worries. You feel like you were able to support him. man needs it. Rank 7. We'll definitely max his out by the end. Come to think of it, sometimes Sis would bring cream puffs back from her job at Juness. He would eat them and complain that Juness's brand tasted bad. Huh. <laughs> Sis looked like she was having a hard time working at Juness. But she said it would eventually be for the sake of our store. She'd play around, but sometimes she acted like the oldest sibling. That always irked me. Um... Next time, will you go to Juness with me? I'd like to check it out. Sure. You promised to go to Juness with Naoki next time. I'll see you again. You went home after eating with Naoki. That was good, man. I really like Naoki a lot now. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today. Let's harvest some crops. We got veggies. And they do look yummy. Magnificent. We'll do wall paprika. I'll see if they're selling any good seeds. 
when I leave the house. The soil seems to be in good enough condition to plant new seedlings. But who knows what's going to be good for the ends. What kind of shit Shadow Adachi will have up his sleeve. But it seems like he can make multiple shadows, which is strange. Like, that ability, like, that he can do that is crazy. Because usually we just see a person, like, the physical manifestation of wherever they're at within the TV world. Because, you know, that's how it works. And their shadow that manifests from them. But Adachi has, like, a conscious, like, focused, like, shadow clone that he just had there to fuck with us. Like, that is crazy. Like, he has such an affinity, affinity there just because, I guess, because he's such a rotten person. Like... So crazy. Anyway, let's go to the hospital. Like, that's the only reason I could think of. Like, if he really doesn't know anything, then that would have to be the reason. What up, kit uh, kittens? You might have to hang out with Risa here before progressing, to be honest. Like, I never see the option to hang out with Risa. I might have to do this first, to be honest. I don't know, where am I at with the hospital? Let me see. Still two with Margaret, oh god. It's gonna bite me in the ass. Uh, Risa Kujikawa is at six. Okay. A fox, man, I still haven't cured that weird ass guy's fear. I don't think I have the right fish. Oh, I gotta go fishing. Okay. Um, Naoto is still at three. Gotta get her up. Athletes on the back burner. Saki just did. Old lady, still gotta do. Okay, nurse is at seven. And it's not every day I'm gonna get to go to the hospital, so I probably should just go. Rank three with Toru Adachi. Oh god, man. We have a decent amount maxed at this point. I mean, I'm not Mr. Completionist over here, but I've been doing some work. I'm no Gerard Khalil, but I'm doing fine. I think. Let's go. Because, yeah, that's right. I remember last time it was like a filler hangout at the, or filler work at the hospital, and now we're gonna rank up again. I've been liking the story here. It's really sad, but I like it. Inaba Municipal Hospital Hallway. We busily clean the dark, silent hallways. <sighs> you thought you heard something from down the hall. Sorry. <laughs> you decided to pretend not to hear it and continue cleaning. Your courage increased. Courage increased. Oh, you there. Sorry, but you can take this person to the... I'm fine. But, but your face is very pale. You are aware that you've gained something of a reputation recently, right? I'm not the only one who would rather see you return to the easy to work with Sayo-chan from not too long ago. I have work to do, if you'll excuse me. Huh. Don't tell me you're slacking off, too. <sighs> I know I'm getting nowhere, but I have to do it. Sayako seems genuinely tormented. You're so worried about Sayako, you hesitate to even say something to her. Oh, wow. Just in our silent understanding, rank up. Goodbye now. Fair enough. You watched Sayako walk away, then went home. 8,000 yen. It's gonna be good for our supplies before the last dungeon. I'm using every hey. item I have. No hesitation. Oh, good morning, Yorokun. It's finally time to fight the real culprit. To be honest, I'm still shocked to learn it, that it was Adachi-san. But I can never forgive what he said, or what he's done. We have to win this battle. Uh-huh, I won't lose either. I'm worried about Nanako-chan, and we can't just let him do whatever he wants. We'll put an end to this for everyone's sake and for my own. 
Yeah. That's the thing. I mean, like I said earlier, I don't know if this will cure like Nanako or even clear the fog. I assume it will, but not because like Adachi is... I, I don't know. I mean, he's obviously not the one who caused it or is behind the TV world itself or just the phenomenon of going inside TVs. He just took advantage. However, he's gained such a definity now that, you know, who knows what he could do, right? I mean, we see like his power within there. It's weird. It's crazy. Yoro-san, are you free after school today? You spend the day with Naoki on the side later. I see. Maybe some other time then. We're hanging out with people every day. It sure is getting cold as we move into December. The fog's not lifting either, so be sure to stay healthy. I was just watching something on TV. Those polar bears sure are active even in the cold. Fuzzy wuzzy polar bears, the fur isn't actually white, you know. Isn't that right, Yorokun? You seem happy about something. Do you know what color of fuzzy wuzzy polar bear's fur really is? Uh. Oh fuck, I, I remember this fun fact. This is a Snapple top ass fact right here, uh, but I don't remember. Why do I want to say transparent? Why do I want to say that? Good job, yep, it's actually transparent, okay. The transparent first scatters the light that hits it, making it appear white to us. That's cool. That's crazy. Their skin is black though, letting them efficiently absorb the sun's rays. Ah, okay. I actually didn't know that. Those animals are well equipped to have fun in the cold. Hehehe. <laughs> you gave the correct answer. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I only vaguely remember the transparent hair thing. I didn't know they had black skin. Is it possible that the fog will shroud the entire world by the end of the year? Regardless, you must defeat the one behind all this before then. You recall taking your part-time job at the take- Oh yeah, I haven't done that in a while. There's no way I'm doing that now. You can get there from the bus shop- Bus stop at the shopping district. I read bus and then shop- Shopping district and then said bus shop. I don't know what they sell at the bus shop, but it's gotta be- Worse than gas station food, somehow. Uh, really, man? You're so stupid, Daisuke. Hey, leave my man alone. So why you gotta ask me about finding dates? That's what I wanna know. Oh, sorry about that. Heading home, Yoro? Later, man. I think I've seen this dialogue before. Isn't there anything to do? Every day's the same as the last. Who are you calling stupid? Oh, it's you. Sorry, I was talking to these morons. On your way home? Be careful. Thanks, dude. Right, let's solve this stupid riddle, finally. You son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Hey. The way they're drawn. Wait, what? That means... Wait, that means I got the first part wrong? I've done all three. All right, you know what? Fuck you, guy. <laughs> all right, I'm out of here. I'm done. You got me. Oh, Riddle Master. Hey, Rise, let's go. And now to oh, fuck you. Making me choose. There's a whole mystery going on with Naotos. Marise. Oh, fuck. Now my mind is like, you have to get Rise to, I mean, uh, Naoto to at least five. It's the only way to win. Like, fuck. We'll have time. We'll have time. It's okay. Rise is only three away. I think we rank up here with her, maybe? Oh, senpai. Mm, you look tired. I know, let's do something together. A day's rest is enough to help you feel better. Do our best tomorrow after we recharge today. How does that sound? We should hang out with Risa and relax. Not ready to advance. Okay. Well. Okay. We have till the end of the month, but we have limited time. I know we can hang out with Risa at night. Because we're not going to have a hospital job every day. So maybe we can catch her at night. Get the boost. And then hang out with her. But we also don't get to hang out with Risa every day. So it's like... 
Man, all right, fine. Risa looks happy. We have to rank up next time, though. I mean, we can do math on this. Like, if I even if I do it like just like this without night, without hanging out with her at night, which would give me a social link boost, and I could use that time if I'm not working to not just you know sleep or read or whatever. I can have it right. So, but if I even if I don't do that, I have to hang out with her f five more times at least to rank up. I think I think towards the end it might I might need two. To hang out with her twice to get before the rank up. Fuck. Don't remember. Okay, now station Krokofer. You spend time shopping with Rise. You feel your relationship is going to become closer soon. Alright, janitor again. And the math on Nautos is like, I don't even know if I can max Nauto before the end of the month. I think I just needed to make more prog. Uh, progress before. There's so much to do in this game. It's not fair. It's just not fair. Hey, what am I doing? <laughs> Thought I hit the shopping district. I think I was using muscle memory there. Oh, she's here. She's been out here like the last, or at least the time before last time. Yukiko's here. These two drunks are here. Anything new? Scooby-Doo? Boss, you're drinking too much. Even the hostess at Shiroku is worried about you. Didn't I tell you before to put yourself in my shoes for a minute? Hey, I noticed you weren't getting shit-faced like you used to. You're finally learning to pace yourself. I'd hope so. With all the times you took me out drinking, that'd better be a point in my favor on my next review. Alright, I'll be sure to pass that along to HR. <laughs> Well, we're gonna do this, so off we go. That's a bit awkward, though. You feel someone watching you. Courage increased. Good work. Can you report today's progress? Eight thousand yen. All right. Yeah, next time. Yeah, we just ranked up with her, so filler, filler work. My brother passed out yesterday. No one at the hospital knows what caused it. Oh my god. My parents are saying it's because of the poisonous fog. Don't worry about what's causing it. I have great news for you. I joined a club called the Healing Club. I'm go it's going to teach us how to neutralize the toxins in the fog. <laughs> On this cool new thing, it's called Shungite. Have you heard of it? It's pretty popular in my area. I know a lot of people who are in the club. Why don't you join too? Ask your brother to join the club. Can you tell me more about it? I'm seriously starting to worry about my health. I've been starting to feel ill recently, you know? But your club can cure me? If it's that popular, it must work, right? Oh god. This is how MLMs came to be. Shugnite? It's still foggy all over town, but believe it or not, harsh weather makes your body stronger. I heard that on TV yesterday, and I'm pretty sure that's right. But man, with all this fog, I've been people with curly hair are having a hard time keeping their does neat. Their do's neat, excuse me. Alright, here's a question about hair. Kobe, you're looking at me, so this question is for you. What determines whether a hair grows curly or straight? Oh, willpower. The cross-section, I assume? Just because I don't think color would dictate that. Cross-section? You gave the answer you thought was correct. Wow, you knew this one. Yes, a hair shape determines whether it's going to be curly or straight as it grows. I mean... Well, that's... Yeah, that makes sense. A straight hair is perfectly round, but a curly hair is oval or triangular. I've got wavy hair. It's a bitch to... work with. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop this shit off, man. Straight up. Going back to the taper fade and the gamer glasses, man. I'm not built for long hair. I mean, it's cool. I don't know. I have to think about it. Flatter hair's cross section, the curlier the hair becomes. I heard that from Miss Kashiwagi, so if you got curly hair, watch out for this fog. You answer correctly. Long hair is maintenance, man. I don't like that. <laughs> Never had to deal with that before. Classes have ended for today. I do not envy women. 
many reasons. All right, daycare job. Let's keep linking. Let's keep socialing and keep linking. All right, you son of a bitch. I'm coming back. I don't even know what I've done wrong. Okay. F's in group A. G is in group B. N is in group A. O is in group B. Which side does P have detailed onto the side of his right? Let me make sure I got this right. Because I'm pretty sure this works if you put B in the A group. So it's B, C, D, E, F, which is an A. G is in B. H, I, J, K, L, M, N. That's group A. O, group B. P. That's group A. That has to be right. What do the letters in that group have in common? Consonants? I've hit all these. So it's... I, I, I'm getting the group wrong is the problem. How's that not right? It's alternating. Maybe... Hold up. You know what it is? I think the pattern is just slightly more complex. I'm getting too hung up on A, B, A, B, A, B, just like a simple A, B pattern. Because it fits that pattern, but it might fit like, I don't know, A, B, B or some bullshit. I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, it would have to be A, B, B since it's F, F G is A, B and N, O is A, B. You know what? Yeah. It's got to be A, B, B or some shit. Whatever. Nato's here, but don't want to hang out. Sigh. Duck. It's going to town. Maybe our good friend Naoki Konishi will want to hang out. That or we have to hang out with the clubs. Disgusting. Alright. I see. So you're going to your grandma's place. Mm hmm. It might just be until New Year's is over, though. So, uh, is your grandma nice? Oh, yeah. She's really nice. She gives me lots of food and snacks, too. Wow, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Nope, Naoki's not here. Back to school then. Well, actually, maybe old lady death is here. I know I can't max her before the end, but maybe I don't have to. Okay, I'm not going to anyway. Whatever. Back to school then. Wait, maybe there's a new plushie at Okina. God, this feels so weird. Adachi is there, but we'll call this part of my preparation. Hmm. Man, he might not put a new one before the end of the game. That might just be it. My shelf is full. I guess uh, people here might have new dialogue now. Hey kid, the fog's pretty thick. Be careful on that bike, okay? Yeah, the fog, it's dangerous. Be careful. All right. Uh, missing pet, who do I contact first at times like these? Eh. Maybe I should see a movie. And yeah, maybe you should. The fog's been thick lately. I hear it's worse than Inaba. A town engulfed by fog. Sounds like the makings of a horror movie to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, hey, the boys are back. Everyone's in lovey-dovey mode. Well, I've got a newsflash for them. The cinema is not your makeout spot. <laughs> Shut up, dweeb. Oh, it's Christmas this month. No wonder our butcher shop is busy. Christmas? Christmas, huh? <laughs> That's kind of sad. Uh, why do I never have a boyfriend at Christmas? And this fog, it's making me depressed. I'm going to turn into a crazy cat lady. Yeah, probably. Living alone, just me and my 37 cats, slowly losing my mind. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Hey, will you do me a favor? I'm doing a taste test. Okay. 
I mean, I've done all these. What if I decline? I see. Maybe next time. Oh. I've done all those. Oh, he's gone. I wonder if the reason for this fog is the, de the decrease in the ocean's temperature. In that case, I have to let him go soon. He'll be alright without me. Someone better will come along. No, she said this last time. I remember, yeah. I remember thinking that was weird. In that case, I have to let him go. Like, in that case... I mean, you're right about the last part. He will be alright. Someone better will come along. I don't know if he'll see it that way. He might be hung up on you for a long fucking time. Won't that be a beautiful mess? Anyway, back to school. Back to school. We're going back. Hang out with these guys. Oh wow, well, we haven't hung out with the sports club in a while. Do I even have anyone for the sports club? I think Rakshasa. Yeah, I don't even have him anymore. That's right. He got too weak. Damn, that's fucked up. What's the matter with me? Let's see. Fool, Empress, Aeon. Pretty sure they're strength. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Still hanging on to these damn personas for... Is it the White Rider? No, I have the White Rider. Oh yeah, uh, Trumpeter. But I, I think I'm one level off from what I remember. Pretty sure. I've been like 65, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's ass. Okay, well, we'll hang out with you anyway. Huh. It's going to become closer soon. Okay, we're going to get it anyway. Let's All do right. it. Let's do it. It's been a while. Yasugami High Field. Fog has enveloped the area, yeah. Makes it look weird. You attended soccer practice. Your deal just increased. Alright, this is everyone. Good news, boys. You're getting a team manager. Now you guys won't have to take turns doing all the work anymore. You can thank me later. Go on, introduce yourself. I, Ebihara. Alright. <laughs> yep. Great, you can take it from here. I'm going home. <laughs> what the fuck? You're just... All right, peace. What? I'm gonna tell you guys straight up, I'm not lifting a finger for this team. I wouldn't be caught dead watching out for a bunch of sweaty guys. Why are you here? What then? Why did you... I missed too many days of school, but don't let me move up if I manage a team. Don't expect me to put any effort into it. For the most part, I'm not even gonna be here. Goodbye. Well, see ya, or not. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, see ya. What was that all about? Oh well, I guess Aisan won't be doing our laundry, huh? What the fuck? Why are you showing her so much respect? She's the same age as us. Dude, just let me fantasize about her in peace, alright? <laughs> no way, her? Soccer players continue talking about Ai Ebihara. Hey Daisuke, think you'd go for a chick like Aisan? Not in a million years. Really? I mean, yeah, she's got major issues, but don't you think she's kinda hot? Girls annoy me. <laughs> Fair enough. They do? How about guys then? Knock it off. Weren't you dating back in middle school, bro? Oh, I get it. You got higher standards now, huh? Must be nice to be so popular that you can get any chick you want. Us normal guys couldn't possibly understand. Hey, man. Girls are a pain in the ass, right, Yoro? <laughs> Look, I know exactly what Yoda would say, right on. <laughs> yeah, you see where I'm coming from? Daisuke looks happy. It's Yoda's fault. It's his damn fault. But yep, girls don't even talk to me, but they're always coming up and asking me out. What do they know about me? You guys done over here? Same thing as last time, right? A little overtime practice and then we'll clean up. Let's do this. Hmm. <laughs> sure, let's do it. I mean, I don't know if Daisuke is gay, but man, they really do a good job in this game of showing, like, the struggle of that, especially at this age and, God, the stigma. Jesus. The two of them are willing to help you train today, too. 
happy with your relationship with Daisuke and Ko has grown stronger. Hey. The boys. Alright, let's go home. After practice, you cleaned up and went home. But it could be, he just legit finds girls troublesome. Ain't a bad attitude to have at that age. Don't even worry about dating and all that shit. You got plenty of time later. Uh, I'll, I'll go check for Risa. I mean, there's not shit to do in my room anyway, so... What am I gonna do, finish a book? <laughs> why do I keep doing that? I think that's my muscle memory for doing that during the day. That's why I keep doing that. In, this is how you know I'm playing fighting games too much. Just relying on my muscle memory. Yo, Nalto? Yo, I'm down. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hello. Hi, Yoro-san. This font gets thicker and thicker. I came to have a look for myself, but I can scarcely see the nose in front of my face. It's unnerving. Perhaps you wouldn't mind staying to chat for a bit. It seems Nato is having a hard time calming down. Talking with her and relaxing may be a good idea. A fortuna. Let's do it. Yes. Thank you. Well then. Nato seems happy. <sighs> There's something my grandpa used to tell me. Men fear what they do not understand. True. Instead, they want easy answers. They'd rather be at peace knowing something than stay in the dark. It's ironic, in a way, that the townspeople are murmuring about the fog being poisonous. The fog is in fact harmless, yet they feel calmer by treating it as a threat. I mean... <laughs> even me knowing as much as I do, and as them, like, it's... I'm still worried about it. I mean, I can understand that. Yes. Oh, I agree. By convincing themselves that one is safe so long as one wears a gas mask, the town's peace is maintained. Nato is nodding. I'm planning to ask the police for the cooperation on this matter and spreading accurate information to the townspeople. It may only be a drop in the bucket, but it's better than doing nothing. It's a good thing to do in the meantime. I like th this happening now canonically. You enjoyed your idle chat with Nato. Feel your relationship with Nato has grown stronger. Your relationship with Naoto could become stronger soon. Oh. If you look at the time, it seems that we've been chatting for quite a while. Ah yes, I have something for you. You may perhaps find it useful. Please accept it. Tap soda. Well then, let's go home. Never have enough of those. Good night. You saw Naoto off and then went home. Dude, I love Naoto. She's great. I love her voice. You have the day off from school today. You wonder if this world will truly be swallowed up by the fog from the TV world. You realize that even if it isn't true, you still need to defeat the threat at all costs. You realize that you... <laughs> Let's see if I can get anything from Tanaka. Tanaka. Tanaka's amazing commodities. What you got, boy? We're safe and secure in any harsh environment. We're selling bundles of four gas masks, enough for the family. But the deals don't end there, folks. Learn four emergency first aid kits with the four gas masks. Can you put a value on your family safety? We can. Protect your loved ones for the low price of only 29,000 yen. Well, I can hear the phones ringing off the hook already. It looks like they've, we've completely cleared our inventory. Thanks for participating in our amazing sale. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it said last time, too. I just went through it too fast. Amazing. We're never going to be able to buy anything again. Sadness. The fucked up part is I was, I was ready to buy it. Like, yeah, give me the gas mask outfit. I'll take it. It's all good. You got any useful seeds? Daikon and... I'll take the daikon. Well, I might as well take both. How you doing? Oh, it's horrible. I think I'm going to collapse. Everyone's saying the fog is poisonous. I've already inhaled so much of it. My mother-in-law seems to have lost her appetite, too. She won't eat at all. <laughs> yeah, that's why she's not eating. Whimper. This poor dog. I hate it. 
do I keep doing that? Alright, never mind. It's not even my muscle memory anymore. I don't even know what I'm doing. My mind is just like, go home. Go home. What is my subconscious trying to tell me? God, these poor people just here all the time. Reset, let's go. Should probably go fishing for that guy. No, because that's that's still going to take the whole day. It lets me fish multiple times, but I, it doesn't let me quit. I'm pretty sure. So, I'm going to hang out with Reese. Oh, senpai. Hmm, you look tired. I know, let's go do something together. A day's rest is enough to help you feel better. Do our best tomorrow after we recharge today. How does that sound? Let's hang out with Reese. Uh -huh. Yeah, where shall we go? Reese looks happy. Okina City in front of Okina Station. Risa invited you to go shopping with her. Fog has enveloped the area. Today we're buying for you. I'll put together the best outfit for you, so be prepared. I've already checked out most of the stores. First is over there. Oh. That ad. I see, so Kanami is the new poster girl. Another idol. Oh, uh, remember that Kanami I mentioned once before? Kanami Mashita, the girl on that store's billboard. We were at the same agency and she was just below me. Oh, she's cute, so it's no surprise that she's getting work. <laughs> she's cute, huh? What? Senpai? It's not a question you should be asking when I'm standing right here. <laughs> Risa is pouting. Dude, she is so cute. We overhear a conversation between some teenagers. Man, Kanamine is so cute. It's crazy that she's still in middle school. What the fuck? I like how she's not so fake like Rizet. Why are idols that young? Yeah, kind of means like plain and honest. Somewhere between the little sister and the girl next door. Like the kind of girl you want to protect. Okay, protect is good. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, I'm fake. That's the role I played. It was all an act, everything. Hey, all that stuff about Kanami is an act too. Let's go home, senpai. I don't want to be here. Did I feel so bad for kids, like, in the entertainment industry? I mean, Risa included. But holy shit. Somagawa floodplain. Risa dragged you back here. Fog has enveloped the area. They just have to remind you every time. Tick-tock. Senpai, are you happy right now? Do you like being with me like this the way we are now? You like having such a cute underclassman, right? I'm an ex-idol after all. Yeah, I'm happy. Why are you being so nice? It, it doesn't make sense. Risa is biting her lip. Ah, Reset. I quit so I wouldn't have to think about stuff like this. I have no regrets about showbiz. I wouldn't want to go back. Why would I sacrifice my real self? I just want to become a Reset who's needed by the ones who see the real me. Like you, senpai. That's the me I want to be. It's the truth. You can sense Risa's passionate will. You feel that you understand Risa even more. Hey. Let's go. Uh oh, we're getting up to menace levels. Risa's determination in battle has been enhanced. She will periodically aid you during battle. Yo, very cool. Oh, we're gonna need that. Honestly, yeah, like, even, like, besides my theory that I need to really hit my social links before the end. Even, like, besides that, ranking up Risa herself is just so helpful. Risa will periodically aid you in battle in various ways. I got a little upset today when I heard those kids talk about Kanami. I'm sure I'll forget it by tomorrow. Risa looks helpless. Cheer her up. Senpai. Thank you. I'm okay. I feel better now. Risa seems relieved. Sorry for being so selfish today. When I was working, I met lots of people, but at the cost of free time to meet people outside of work, I had no free time at all. So when I was alone, I was truly alone. Whatever I was thinking about, I had to keep it to myself. So, right now, I don't want to be alone. Stay with me, just a little longer. <laughs> Aww. I'll see you later, senpai. It's really sweet. I spent time with Risa until it got dark and went home.
very sweet. I like her resolve to be the real her, despite her natural reaction to talk about Konami earlier. You know, that feeling is still there. But uh, she'll be alright. She got the squad, she got the Yoro, the fucking menace. to do go back home again yeah she ain't alone most important part mm, yeah next week hasn't rolled over yet for the machines didn't mean to go in there I guess I could work here if I wanted to but just saying hi to you <laughs> yeah so tomorrow, it'll be back. I mean, Yukiko's here. I mean, it would be cute to hang out with Yukiko. Maybe I should... Oh, I should check the... North District. Oh, Chie. Alright. Ghost Lady isn't back here. Probably the kids that she was talking about are the ones that we see at the shrine all the time. I wonder if that's their mom who died? Like, I don't know which kids that would be, but that would be fucking sad. That is dangerous outside. I hear there's poison gas out there. Yoshie, is Yoshie safe? She's not lonely at the hospital. I told you, Mama's already. Oh goodness. Was she gonna say Mama's already all right, or was she gonna say the other thing? Oh goodness. Hmm. I don't know. It would make more sense to just go read a book or something, but I'll hang out with Yukiko. Hey! But Yoroko, this fog is getting thicker by the day. Everyone at the inn says I don't have to go on errands, but I can't not do my part. If you don't mind, why don't we chat for a bit? I need to change a pace. Can't get any closer, but it may be nice to spend the evening with her. That's like, yeah. Let's do it. Really? I'm so happy. The first, uh, girl. Yoro. Um. Yoro dated. Ever since the news started doing stories on the fog, we've been getting cancellations at the inn. It's only natural with how much of a fuss they make about it on TV every day. Some guests still come, but they all seem so nervous. The other day, one of them asked if they could bring their gas mask into the open air bath. Damn. You should sell gas masks. Not a bad idea, but. It's a bit dangerous. Hmm. Yeah, the mask might actually cause them to pass out, so we asked them to leave it behind. Yeah, for sure. But I think everyone's just that scared. Yukiko seems worried. Still, some of our guests seem to enjoy the fog. They say it makes the scenery unique. I have mixed feelings about that, though. You enjoyed your idle chat with Yukiko. Though your relationship with Yukiko has grown stronger. Huh? Oh no, it's already this late? I don't want to go back yet. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I wouldn't want to cause any trouble for you. Alright, there's something I want to give you. I want you to have this. Sincerity cookie. I'd be very glad if you liked it. Or well, shall we get going? Aw. Good night. So cute, man. You saw you could go off to the bus stop and then went home. Very cute. I gotta see that cookie. Yo. Hey, Senpai, I haven't seen you in the morning for a while. Still, with the real bad guy being a cop on the case, that really surprised me, man. But now, there's nothing for us to wait for. We just have to go kick his ass. And show that sucker, senpai. Yeah. Just you wait, Adachi. You'll learn what it means to deal with us. The hard way. The kanji way. Damn right, dude. Damn fucking right. I might, um, run into the dungeon. 
I don't know, either the last day or the second to last. Because, yeah, I, I do think it's a good idea to maybe have a buffer of a day if we want to go back. We need to. To rest. Should remember the daycare option for now. If I don't uh, find someone to hang out with here. Just to see what would happen if it unlocks a new social link. Well, we got music club, so we'll do that if nothing else. Ah, Nauto. Perfect. Oh, it's you. I mean, I. What do you want? I'm busy. Ask her out? What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Oh, you know I got to. <laughs> this is a real menace choice right here. Oh, she better turn him down. What? Huh? With you? I staring at you intently. Whatever. You should skip your afternoon classes next time. We'll go somewhere far away. Holy fuck. With your overabundant courage, you're able to slip out of class with ease. I'll invite you to come with me when I feel like it. Oh, she's a Sundere. <laughs> we just needed a Baka there. Damn, man. Max stats. Max stats. The menace strikes again. Alright, anyway. Oh, wait, hold up. I'll read all this again, but I gotta, I gotta do Riddle. Riddle Kid, one more time. Is it ABB? Hold on, okay. No, that wouldn't make sense. Man, I don't know. I'm not smart enough for this shit, man. B group. Consonants. God damn it. <laughs> I'm just gonna guess the other two, man. Fuck this shit. When in doubt, just brute force it. Brute force it. It's like the easiest multiple choice test ever. Oh, I get to go again? Alright, sure. It's gotta be one of these. Um, well, that fucking failed. Alright, let's go. Hang out with Naoto. I'll probably hang out with Naoto and then, um, call it for this part. I'm gonna record something else after this. And I'm doing this so I can not Hello. burn out and stay consistent, so thank you for understanding. Good day, Oro-san. Ah, yes, can you spare some time to be with me today? We need to take the time to refresh our minds every so often, lest we become overwhelmed with exhaustion. Maybe you should hang out with Naoto and relax. Come to think of it, someone had sent Naoto a mysterious card. Maybe it would be best if you walked her home. Alright, let's do it. Oh, no, I'll be fine by myself. Walk her home anyway. Um, well, if you don't mind. Naoto seems a bit relieved despite her protests. <laughs> Sometimes I regret doing the whole, like, dating everyone thing, just because, uh... I kind of, like hates the friendship aspect. I mean, because, like, Yoro, like, becomes best friends with these girls, basically, before dating them. But, like, the fact that he's dating all of them, of course, makes it, it's like, it's like, uh, you know. But it kind of makes, like, the friendship part of it just kind of weird, since that's always kind of there. When the friendship is, like, the strongest part of it. Like, it's the strongest part of this whole game and, like, the whole group's, like, dynamic. It's just, a, it's so silly that you can do that. I couldn't resist. I had to. But it's so, like... It's almost like immersion breaking. It's so weird. It's... Naoto is holding a card. That card again? Yes. It's unmistakable. Naoto nods firmly. Judging by its appearance, it's on the same card stock. The same size, unsigned, just like last time. I'm almost certain this came from the same person. Let's talk about this someplace more private. Somebody who broke into Naoto's home as well. Like, the letter is one thing, but it's like, fuck. Samagawa floodplain. Fog has enveloped the area. You checked out the card with Naoto. The card reads as follows. Dear detective, your prized possessions are in my hand. 
Can you recover them? The game is afoot. The Phantom Thief. Who the fuck is this, dude? This is gonna be a hell of a twist, I'm sure. Hmm. It seems that this is the work of the figure who snuck into the Shirogane estate. I'll send this to Yakushiji-san so he can turn it into the police as evidence. <sighs> the Phantom Thief? How absurd. I haven't the time to waste on this. Hmm. I mean, it's still worrying, though. Like, yeah, we gotta worry about the case and everything, and Adachi, but... Do I tease her running from a challenge? I'm gonna say that's right. Exactly, we're dealing with a matter that has claim claimed lives. The stakes are entirely different. In contrast, we have a petty prankster guilty of mere housebreaking, theft, and inscrutable threats. Pretty concerning, actually. Just a ruffian who broke into the Shirogane estate and threw down the gauntlet. Naoto looks bitter. I know, that's super alarming. Ugh, that's why I don't like this. When I'm with you, I always seem to lose my composure. I don't want to get involved with this sort of childish game. But to ignore it only makes me angry. Let's catch him together. Of course we will. You're the one who brought this to my attention. <sighs> Let's work together on this. <laughs> the Naoto blush. Oh my god. Naoto is fidgeting with embarrassment. You decide to accept the Phantom Thief's challenge with Naoto. You feel your relationship with Naoto has grown yet deeper. Dude, the Naoto blush. Mind charge. Ooh. That is very good. Alright, um, let's see. What do we got? Heavy Fizz to one foe, one two X. There's Hamon, we know we got Mudon. Agidine, Garudine, Blight, which is Heavy Fizz to all foes, Chance of Poison. Megidola is tight. Tetracarn. I like Tetracarn, but realistically, I don't know when I'd use it. Like, I have items that have the tetracorn. I have the tetracorn. Maybe not a lot, but like realistically in a fight, I'm not going to want to spend a turn and SP on a reflect a reflected attack unless I'm making a prediction. Like a, that's a hard read to make. I get like one shot a crazy fizz move like from a crazy tough like enemy, but that is so niche. I'm just going to replace it. That's not my game plan anyway. If you kill them faster, you don't have to worry about it. Taps tempo. I mean, I'm on camera. I can just do this. Now that it's been decided, let's re-examine the first car. There must be some sort of hint there. It's weird remembering that you're on camera. It's like, oh, holy shit, have I done anything weird? Have I picked my nose? Oh, shit. Well, of course, I only tend to investigate this case in our free time. I have something else I must do. Oh. Okay. I'll see you again. We walked home part way with Naoto. That's gonna I can already tell that one's gonna be a weird twist, but still alarming. Who the fuck is breaking into Naoto's home? I mean, that's the worst part. Jesus. Anyway, yeah. But um progressing in our social links, like I said in the beginning and throughout, this is gonna be my main goal until getting to the last dungeon and once we get to the dungeon i'll be doing longer parts by then like i said i'm just trying to stay consistent and not burn out especially with um me trying to stay ahead of things so thank you all for being patient hopefully um an hour and 40 minutes almost 50 is good enough god my standards of length of content back then were crazy like three to four hour parts no wonder i fucking burned out but uh, yeah, anyway, this was fun. I'm ready to social link even more, just get further towards the goal and just kick the shit out of Adachi, man. They really made him so unlikable. I mean, given just what he's done, that's enough. But just, he's just a shit-eating weasel, incel bitch. It's like, oh, you suck. I've never disliked Johnny Young Bosch more than I have in this game. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I'm enjoying the character dev with the social links. And the cuteness that kind of comes down from Yoro being a menace. But 
Um, of course, it's all very sweet and very fun. As the fog looms over us and the dungeon is just right there, so... Yeah, that's the plan. Thank you for watching. If, if you have any thoughts, as always, please feel free to share. No spoilers, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.